Sugar Ray Leonard versus Oscar De La Hoya going out to Austin Webb. I like this fight for several reasons. But before I get into it, please subscribe. Please hit the like button. Please hit the bell notification so you don't miss my uploads. But that would help me out tremendously. So let's get into this fight. Sugar Ray Leonard versus Oscar De La Hoya. And I could see fans scoffing at the idea of Oscar De La Hoya fighting the great Sugar Ray Leonard and may not give him much of a chance against Sugar Ray Leonard. But the reality is, Oscar De La Hoya has a stacked resume and he's fought everybody who was somebody um, during his era. And, and it, it was a tremendous era that Oscar De La Hoya came up in. Solid resume, great fighter as far as I'm concerned. I love Oscar De La Hoya. Has some of the quickest hands I've ever seen. Throws great combinations. It has one of the best left hooks in the sport. And so regardless of how you feel about Oscar De La Hoya, personally, I would suggest just separating that from the realities in the ring. Oscar De La Hoya has been in there with heavy hitters. He was a heavy hitter himself. So I have, I don't have anything negative to say about Oscar De La Hoya as a fighter. The great Sugar Ray Leonard needs no introduction. Flashy fighter, quick fighter, the best footwork next to Muhammad Ali, maybe just a little better than Muhammad Ali. Quick hands, quick combinations, great jab, great head movement. Like I said, he was showy. And Sugar Ray Leonard did everything well. And one thing I like about Sugar Ray Leonard is he was a very versatile fighter. Sugar Ray Leonard could be elusive, dance around, stay away from his opponents, stick and move. But then he could turn into the stalker, putting the pressure on and going for the finish. So that's what makes Sugar Ray Leonard dangerous. These two together, great stylistic matchup. And I'm looking at this is a high speed chess match. That's exactly what it would be. And both of these guys have advantages and disadvantages going into the fight. I believe that Oscar De La Hoya is a better counter puncher than Sugar Ray Leonard. But I feel that Sugar Ray Leonard is a better combination puncher than Oscar De La Hoya. Sugar Ray Leonard has the better footwork. I'm not sure who has more power. I'd have to go with Oscar. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm sure you will. I've never been hit by either one of them, thank goodness, but I just suspect that Oscar De La Hoya has more power. So will this fight come down to who has the better offense or the better defense? And as I've already mentioned, Sugar Ray Leonard is the more versatile fighter. He can be elusive when he needs to be, and he can come forward when he needs to. So that may work in his favor. And Sugar Ray Leonard would need to rely on both of those strategies in this particular fight. An inside fight with Oscar De La Hoya, not the best idea. Sugar Ray Leonard needs to box his ears off. In the beginning, Sugar Ray Leonard needs to be on his bicycle, dance around, frustrate De La Hoya, then when it gets to the later rounds, when Oscar De La Hoya fades, he's known for fading in those later rounds. I hope you can hear me over the lawnmowers, but he has a tendency to fade in those later rounds, and that's when Sugar Ray Leonard could get him, especially having that 15 round experience. So I think that Oscar De La Hoya, he would get some work in in the early rounds, maybe. But I can't get around the footwork and the elusiveness of Sugar Ray Leonard. So I'm gonna have to go with Sugar Ray Leonard by late knockout in this contest. Please let me know what you think. I'm about two weeks late on this video, but better late than never, right? 
So here's my thoughts on the Devin Haney Lomachenko situation. Just my opinion. Every decision that we don't like is not a robbery. And the way I see it, there's a difference between a clear robbery and a close decision that could have went either way. And when the guy that we don't want to win wins, in, in this case, in this type of scenario, it's not a robbery. Very close fight. And that's what Devin Haney versus Vasily Lomachenko was. It was a close fight that could have went either way. I'm not saying we can't have our opinions about certain fighters, but the way we drag some fighters, honestly, some of them deserve it. Demetrius Andre deserves it, but Devin Haney doesn't because Devin Haney has been active. Devin Haney has been fighting the best available competition. And Devin Haney was simply in a competitive bout with Vasily Lomachenko. You see, we complain about the fights not being competitive, but then we drag fighters for being in competitive fights. What do we want? Just because he was in a competitive fight doesn't mean he's the worst fighter in the world. And that's what we're making him out to be. I mean, the way some of these fans are talking, I could probably beat Devin Haney. And Styles makes fights. So just because Lomachenko, with his, with his awkward style, was able to give, give Haney some trouble, that doesn't mean now everybody beats him. And for those of us who are diehard fans or have been watching boxing for a while, we know better than this. We know better, better than this. Now, whether you felt that Devin Haney won or lost, it's too early to write him off. I personally feel like he did enough to edge it and to win. Now we can have our opinions, but let's stop going to extremes. Devin Haney is still a solid fighter, has a good jab, has good defense, throws every type of punch well, but he was in there with the Matrix. And uh, Lomachenko, despite his three losses, is an elite fighter. So of course you're gonna have a little more trouble when you step up in competition. And the reality is you're not gonna walk through every opponent. And just because you don't walk through that opponent doesn't mean you're a hype job. It doesn't mean you're overrated. It doesn't mean that everyone's gonna beat you now. Because if Devin Haney fought Tank, Garcia, Shakur, whoever. The fight is gonna be different because the styles are different. And it's as simple as that. So I felt like Devin Haney edged it. Not the worst decision I've ever seen. It could have went either way. I'll give you that. But I felt that Devin Haney did enough to edge it. Chill.